Welcome back to another video. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. We get these status racing seats. We got the Corvette. The seats in the Corvette are broken. So let's go ahead and get these installed today. Um, I've been very busy. My garage is a bit of a mess, so please don't mind the mess. <laughs> I love these seats. I have status racing seats in the BMW and they are so comfy. They are 100% custom. We got the blue and pink vinyl. We have the black diamond stitch suede in here. And these are just super comfortable seats. They're gonna be great for drifting and I'm gonna get them installed in the Corvette today. As you guys know, the one seat that's in here is, it's, it's really, really broken. It won't move. It's not comfy and it's all the way back and I can't move it forward, so. She needs an upgrade. So I'm pretty sure the only thing we'll have to turn off, turn off is like the telescopic thing that the Corvette does. I don't even know if the one works in here because the Corvette is just so ratchet. <laughs> so what is it? Options. Hold on. I don't even know. Passive unlock driver. Approach like auto lock English. Oh, I don't even know if I have this option in here. So yay, that's already turned off. But basically it's when you turn off the car, it like recenters itself. Um, but I don't, I don't think my one has that. Yay, make it easy. So it seems pretty straightforward. It's just four bolts and then an electrical connector or two and then slap it in the new seats. I kind of hate and love installing seats. I love them because I love new race seats. They're gonna look so good in here, but I hate it because it is such a tedious process to find the right location of the seat you get you know put it in test it take it out reset it put it in test it blah blah blah, blah. you pick it up what i'm putting down <laughs> i will be using planted seat brackets these work great with sliders i will not be using sliders on this setup because sliders they raise you up about an inch and i have them in the bmw and i just don't ever use the sliders so we're just going to go ahead and install the seats on these and see how it fits So I was kind of diving under here, getting the bolts off the seat to take it out. I just want you guys to see how ratchet this thing is. So as you can see, these are like the controls. That's, that's not even the bad part. You go under and I'm like, all right, cool. Like these connectors are already unloose, but there's, there's a pillow in here. What? Oh, goodness gracious. There's a whole pillow and just, Oh, what a, what, a, what a mess. I'm really happy to be taking this out. Well, so here's another predicament I kind of have is that this seat, it's stuck all the way back. I can't move it forward. So I think I got to tear all this stuff out to be able to kind of get to the back bolts. <sighs> Yay. <laughs> this whole seat, oh, it just flips back. Oh, there's a whole pillow in here. Bruh. <laughs> what did I buy? Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Like, I should not be able just to do this. Sorry for any like major Corvette fan, but I think I have to cut this off. Like it's just not coming out. Oh, I feel so bad. Hey, look at me upholstering. Ew. Don't get the seatbelt. Don't get the seatbelt. Don't get the seatbelt. There we go. How am I gonna get these other? Oh, there we go. Ow! Alright. We're making progress, guys. So bad. Alright. Alright, it's off those two. Oh, okay. I can get to this one now. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, yep. I just... Oh, no, 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 no,
I pulled it off the rails. This seat was being held on by zip ties. By, by zip ties. Are you serious right now? Are you serious? This is my build. This car is still looking at has me right now. Like, you see, it's, it's straight up broken. It's just, well, at least I can get to these nuts now. Yay. Oh, oh. I wish I could say I was surprised. Yeah, I cannot wait to put in new seats. For those of you that would like a closer look, it looks like, like something was broken here and not holding the back part of the seat down and they just used a bunch of zip ties here to kind of hold it in place. That's so ridiculous. I need to grab this and maybe, oh, and then, oh, yeah, yeah. It's someone else's project, yay. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, we finally have the seat built, looking nice. I also went and got all new bolts that bolt the seat bracket to the car itself. All of the ones on the Corvette were different sizes and really, really beat. So I just got a bunch of new ones. I said it was before and I'll say it again. Installing seats is one of the most annoying and tedious thing I've done on a car. That should be very exciting and fun, but it's just not. Unfortunately, the seat is too close, so I'm gonna have to take off the seat, move the brackets back. <laughs> Yay. Wow, I'd be looking a little messy. Um, I adjusted the seat, we got a much better fit, and it's a very tight fit. But it's in. <laughs> yeah, she's like literally got just a couple of centimeters there. And then there is literally no space between the seat belt and the seat bracket there. And, and there is not really any room there. So just if you guys know, if you have a full interior, like I had to take out this plastic piece here to get that to fit. I need to figure out a solution for the seat belt because this is not safe like this. I do plan on getting harnesses soon, so that's what I'm anticipating for. But for now, I need to make sure something's coming through here and just in a much safer situation. But, I mean, what do you guys think? Looks great, right? I also don't think that seats are, the seats are the most irritating thing to install, but I'm so happy that I finally have a working seat in the Corvette. Like that other one, like, come on. This situation, at least, is a lot more... It's a lot safer than the uh, the other seat, as you guys saw, that was being held together by zip ties. Yeah. But, you know, I, I feel comfortable. I can reach the pedals fine. I could probably move the seat up a little bit more, but then I would have, I don't know, it'd be a little difficult to get in and out. But I love the seat. I'm going to get a little headrest now when I went to take a nap. I'm very excited. Very, very excited. Um... For this, I am honestly gonna do the passenger seat tomorrow because uh, this one was a pain in the butt. <laughs> I 
and I'm tired. But yeah, these look great. And I'm very excited to get the other one. And I'm excited to try it out and get this thing sideways. The Corvette has a bunch of other issues going on. It has overheating issues. It has a throttle loss issue. I have a new throttle body to test. That's my theory for my loss of power. Um, I'm also going to try and pressure wash the radiator just because I see the engine bay is just covered in grime. So I'm assuming that maybe the air AC condenser and the radiator just clogged and I'm gonna hope that it's an easy fix. If not, uh, you know, power steering, oh, not power steering, but water pump, new radiator. And then if it still has overheating issues, maybe we have a head gasket. Honestly, I wouldn't be that surprised if we did, but yeah, it's it's been fun. The Corvette's been a bit of a challenge, um, but I'm, I'm having fun with it. It's stock, but it's kind of trashed. So I'm having fun with it. Whereas the BMW was 100% stock and definitely taken care of, which made it a fairly easy build. This is definitely gonna, this is gonna test me. Yeah, I'm gonna show Cole Vamp. So yeah. I'm going to close out the video for today. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and I hope you guys have a great night or day or any, whatever time it is. Have a great one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.